Hey guys, welcome to Profit Guru. I'm Cassandra Barney and I'm a full-time Amazon seller. For those of you that are new here, on Profit Guru, we love to learn different strategies on how to be a successful Amazon seller and then teach that to you guys right here. Now today, I am super excited about this video in particular because it is one of eight videos in a series to teach you guys all about how to do wholesale bundling. Wholesale bundling is one of our favorite selling models for Amazon because it is really powerful. So I'm really excited to teach you guys how to do it from A to Z. By the time you finish this eight mini series of videos, you will be able to know exactly what wholesale bundling is, why it's important, how to do the research, how to put your bundles together, to know that they're going to sell, how to put the listing together, everything. So we are so thrilled to have you here and be teaching you how to do wholesale bundling. So in this video, this is video number one of the eight part series, and we're gonna talk all about what exactly is wholesale bundling and what does the concept involve and why should you be wanting to do it? Why is it such an effective selling model? So without further ado, let's jump right into the series and start talking about all of the different pieces that go with wholesale bundling and what you're about to learn through this mini series. Okay, right, so what is wholesale bundling and why is it so powerful? Now, learning how to sell on Amazon in general is not something that you can just sign up to take a college course and learn how to do. So that's why here at Profit Guru, we do what we do because we see the potential and how much money you can make selling on Amazon and why not show other people how to do that. There really is enough room in Amazon on the marketplace for everybody to jump in. Because for how many sellers there are, there are so many more buyers. So there's room for everyone to come into this market if you know how to do it the right way. So that's what this is going to be all about. A strategy where you can make a ton of money because you're setting yourself apart. You're going to be different from other listings. What exactly is wholesale? Now, if you're familiar with selling on Amazon at all, then you know that there's a few different models that you can take to sell items. One of those models is a wholesale model. So what you're doing here is you are forming relationships and opening up wholesale accounts with vendors to get the products right from them for the bottom dollar price. Now, when you buy things from like Walmart or Target or Costco, that's called arbitrage, which is another model of selling on Amazon. But the problem with arbitrage is there's a middleman. Those places, Walmart, they've already bought in these products once from the wholesalers. So in order to sell them to us now for a profit, they have to mark up that price. So if you're skipping the middleman and you're going right to the wholesale distributor, you are going to get it for the cheapest price possible. But there's some problems here. Now, when you think, oh, I'm skipping that middleman, so I'm going to get it for such a cheap price, that's really not the case. Yes, the price will be cheaper, but it's not going to be this huge substantial number. So for example, I might be able to buy this pen at Walmart for $3. By getting it from the wholesaler directly, I might pay $2.10 for it. So yeah, it'll be a little cheaper, but not a ton. So with that, there are low profit margins. Yes, you're buying things in bulk, you're reselling them, but you're probably only making 20% ROI return on your investment, maybe even lower. So the return really isn't substantial. Also, you're going to still have competition. You're going to be competing with other people. So if somebody else bought this pen from a wholesaler, this exact pen is on Amazon already. I can't create my own listing. It doesn't work like eBay. If you sell on eBay, everything that you sell, you can start your own listing for, not on Amazon. If the product already exists in the catalog, you have to jump on to that listing and just be one of the sellers on the listing. So this one pen could have 40 other sellers on it. And now you're all competing for the buy box. Whoever's holding the buy box is the one who's going to get the sale when a customer adds that product to their cart. So by just having a generic item that anyone could buy from anywhere, there's a ton of competition. Now that's where this wholesale bundling thing is such a great idea because you're going to eliminate 
all of the competition and own 100% of the buy box and get all of the sales. But one other important thing also to mention along with the low profit margins are the Amazon fees. Amazon charges service fees for every item that you sell. So if you bought something for $5 and you sold it on Amazon for $10, the difference should be $5 in your pocket but it's not because Amazon takes a high number for them for letting you come on to their established place. So we need to find a way to get around this. How do we make sure that we're eliminating competition and that we still have money left over for profit after all of these Amazon fees? All right. So we talked about two models for selling on Amazon, the arbitrage model, where you're just going to a big name store like TJ Maxx or Walmart, buying a product off of the shelf and relisting it on Amazon. But like we said, there's a lot of competition there. Next, there's wholesale where you're getting things at a bottom dollar price, but there's still really low profit margins and there can still be a lot of competition. Now, the third selling model is private label. And the reason why I mention this is because this is going to have a small part to do with the wholesale bundling concept. So what private label is, is you're manufacturing something and making it your own. So you're either bringing something completely new to the market or you're taking something that exists, but putting your own little spin on it and making it your own. So for example, I wouldn't just buy this pen at Walmart and resell it. That would be arbitrage. Instead, I would find a manufacturer, tell them what I like and don't like about this pen to try to re-improve it and make it my own. And then I would have that manufacturer make me these pens that have my own brand on it and I would sell it that way. So private labeling is great because there's no other competition. This is your product and your product alone. But there's a lot of negatives with it. And the first one is that it's very expensive. Now, like wholesale, you do have to buy things in bulk. And the same goes with private label. So if you made your own product and what if it didn't go over well? Now you might have 500 units of something that is just not moving and not selling. So for that reason, it's also really risky. Another reason why there's cost involved is because if you're private labeling, you're probably going to want to get a trademark on that. You're going to want to get your own brand and your own brand registered. And those things cost money. It's also a big time investment. It's going to take a long time to bring something completely new to the market, to have to think of the idea, to find the manufacturer, to get the samples, to get everything shipped. And then to Amazon, I mean, this could take up to a year before you actually bring something to the market. And then because you have so much money tied into this one product, you're putting all of your eggs into one basket. So it can be really risky and really expensive to just go with straight up private label. So instead, we're going to blend. Wholesale bundling is really a blend of all of these great worlds. You're taking things that already exist but you're going to knock out the competition by putting something with it that nobody else has. So therefore, nobody else can jump onto the listing. So branded items are how you're going to keep other sellers off of your listings. So here is exactly what the overall concept is going to involve. So first, you're going to be choosing a product that already exists. Hopefully, this is going to be something that you're going to find in a wholesale account so that you're getting it for the very bottom dollar price. Now, next, you have this one product. Now you need to think about, okay, what can I put with this? How can I solve a customer's need or meet a problem that they might have and also give value to them? Now, by putting more than one product together, you're also going to increase your profits because remember how I talked about those Amazon fees, how they're high? Well, if you're putting things together, then the fees are going to be less. Going back to my pen again, it's being really helpful today for examples, if I were to list this one pen on Amazon, the fee that they might charge me when I get a sale could be a $2 fee. But if I were to put 20 pens together, it would still fall into the same class and they would still only charge me that one $2 fee. So you've just increased your profit substantially by avoiding fees on single items by putting items together. Now, the key here is you're going to want to mix your vendors up. And I will get to this in another video and show you a really bad example that I did by not mixing my vendors and how it really uh, was a bust for me and my listing that I made.
But if you're mixing vendors, you're going to make it a lot harder for your competition to try to replicate what you're doing. So say you wanted to skip that branded item. I don't suggest you do that because that's going to be the real key to making people stay off of your listing. But say you did want to skip that branded item. Well, the way that you can stop so much competition is by mixing things up. So if you get one of your items in this bundle from a wholesale catalog and then another item from uh, Walmart and then another item from TJ Maxx, so you're just mixing things up, it's going to be a lot harder for people to find these exact same products at these locations because they can't jump onto a listing unless it is an exact match. So that's a little tip for you right there. Mixing vendors is really going to throw off your competition, but really making it so that Everybody has to stay off because, I mean, someone who is dedicated, if they see that you don't have a branded item in there and they know that they can get all of the items that you have in your bundle and it's a bundle that's selling super well, they'll take the time. Some people will take the time and find those items. So that is where customizing it with a branded item is going to keep them off. So let's say, for example, I found uh, a cake mix from a wholesaler. I was buying that and then I went to Walmart and was buying a certain frosting and putting that together as a kit. Anybody could probably find those items if they research hard enough and jump onto my listing. But if I manufactured my own spatula to go along with it and I put my own little trademark on there or something that I created, they can't replicate that. If that is right in my front listing image and I say that, you know, this is coming with this spatula and it's a spatula that no one else can make because I made it myself, no one can jump onto that listing. So that's the key here with wholesale bundling, making something branded and then it's your own. So from there, you're going to have to create your own listing, which this can kind of be time consuming to do because you want to do it the right way you're going to want to have this item sell. And the quality of that listing is what is going to determine if your bundle is going to sell and if customers are going to want to buy it. So there's actually a lot that goes into creating a listing the right way, which is also something that we're going to talk about in a video in this series. So now that you understand the concept of wholesale bundling and why it can be so powerful for making you money, what's next? And what's next is right here, research. You're not going to want this to just be a shot in the dark where you're randomly finding products and you're like, oh yeah, that could probably go together. I'm just going to sell these together. No, this is going to be an investment. It might not be as high of an investment as straight up private labeling, but this is still going to cost money. So it's going to take a lot of time to make sure that you're actually developing a bundle that's going to sell. Because why would you want to waste all of your time and your money to put something together, create the listing, and then it's not selling. Now you have all of the stock that's just sitting. So we're going to be talking about in the upcoming videos in this series, what does the research look like? So we're going to be evaluating different categories, products, competition, ranks, keywords, catalogs, manufacturers, all of these things. Because yes, the concept as a whole, it seems pretty general, right? Like it's a, it's a pretty basic idea. I'm finding items, I'm putting them together, putting my own spin on it. But there's really a lot of moving parts that go with it to make sure that you're doing it the right way, uh, as well as packaging. You're going to have to package this together somehow. So we're going to talk about all of that. So by the time you're done with these videos in this series, you will be completely confident to be able to start making your own wholesale bundles. We're also going to talk about some of the process of the steps. Now there's different applications you're going to have to submit with Amazon to make sure that you can list these items. You're going to have to do some brand approval, uh, creating the listing. So we're going to do all of this together. And then finally, the last video will be a real live demo where we're going to apply everything that I've been telling you and we're going to do it fresh. So I'm just going to start fresh and show you exactly what I would do when I'm developing my own bundle. So you can see my exact thought processes and the steps that I go through to put a bundle together. So now that you know exactly what wholesale bundling is and what all the moving parts look like in the next video, video number two of this mini series, we're going to talk all about how to choose the right niche and category. How do you know which ones are going to be the most profitable? And then where do you go from there? How do you find those vendors and those catalogs? So I will see you guys in video number two and we'll talk all about it then.